Diamond Platinum song Mwanza could be described as a club banger with many singing or even dancing to the tune without really understanding the lyrics. The move by Basanta to ban Diamond from performing the song continues to receive criticism. Self-styled East Africa's number one hype man DNG thinks the move is retrogressive. I'd encourage Diamond, as I said, to go to court. Uh, if I was in his position, I would first get an injunction um, uh, and, and, and uh, you know, uh, applic apply for it as a matter that is extremely urgent under the court because, as I said, the, the commercial value that is about to be lost. Basata stated that it had no choice but to take stern action on the musician for continuing to disregard and disrespecting the board's position on the Mwanza song. Mwanza was banned over allegations that the lyrics contain Swahili word for being horny and also because the authorities considered some of the dance moves in the video to be lascivious. Ukiangalia uswazi ya mwaswailini, kunengua kiuno ndivyo watu ambavyo wanavyo cheza. So how do you remove what is part of our own culture from, from music? It is impossible. I think we as, as contemporary musicians of today, or entertainers of today, need to be able to embrace our roots. According to DNG, who has been in the showbiz industry for the last 15 years now, such directives not only affect job opportunities created, but also curtails art, which is impossible. Diamond is Tanzanians, Tanzania's greatest export. We do not know Tanzania for anything else other than Diamond and Bongo flavor. The statement from Basata said Diamond and Rivani, who also features in the song, had also been banned from doing shows outside the country. We must stand firm, defiant, in support of Diamond as we did with, in support of Bobby Wine as he was being persecuted in Uganda. Diamond's manager, Babu Tale, has broken the silence over the ban placed on Wasafi Festival by Basata, saying that the Kenyan performances are still on as scheduled. Dana Rose, Switch TV.